Hey there all you techs. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get into the option codes on the brand new ARCH01U wireless remote controller for the Samsung ductless equipment. Um, you, you all might be familiar with this older controller. I've done video, previous videos on this guy, how to get into the option codes, removing batteries, etc. Et how to get in there. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that on this new controller that just came out for 2025 that will be standard with the newer R32 units. So key thing is uh, this thing does not have batteries that you take out or change. It does solar, it, it'll charge itself solar powered wise. So you can turn it on its back and homeowners can just have it charge within a room like that from the light of the room. Um, alternatively, there is a USB C port on the bottom that you can charge them like that as well. Uh, get into the option code is a little tricky, so I'm just going to show you guys how to get in there and do that. One way of being able to do that is when you when you charge it, when you actually use the port at the bottom, you can get into the background settings. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do it without that charger. And a uh, note: these units don't come with a charger or the or the cable for it, so you'd have to buy that separately. And um, again, this video, guys, doesn't replace any training, so make sure you get properly trained out there. If you're a homeowner, uh, you don't want to be getting in there and playing with option codes because you can definitely easily um, stop your unit from working if, if you press the wrong buttons or go too deep into the wrong direction here. So again, this is just for trained professionals. So how are we going to get in there and do that? We want to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius on our wall control. So on this controller, I can, I'm going to show you how to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius real easily, and it'll display it on here. But then there's a code you have to do and point it at your indoor unit to update the board on the indoor unit to display Celsius. So what we're going to do is first we're going to get into the option codes. We want to get double zeros to get into the digits. Again, here is the technical bulletin, 2020. 0012 and here's all the, the settings on that bulletin how to set up a wireless controller or for celsius and fahrenheit so again this is default fahrenheit room temperature displayed in fahrenheit set temperature in fahrenheit room temperature displayed in celsius and set temperature displayed in celsius and the codes and how to get in there so in this example we're going to go to set temperature in celsius is what we want to change that to so let's get into it and see how we're going to get air on this controller so as soon as I turn it on, uh, what I'm going to want to do, it wouldn't show this. I would get initial settings right off the front, off the top. So I'm going to press my temperature fan button. These guys actually toggle up and down. It's not pushing in. It's either moving it up or down. Okay. You can see that's what that's doing, up or down. So in my case here, I'm going to hold them both down and the mode button simultaneously for about five seconds or so. And I'm going to get an SW initialization displayed on my control. So let's see if we can get that. I'm holding them all down now. If we get that, and there it is. So then now I'm gonna press my wind free and my fan at the same time. Or I should say my wind free and my turbo, I said my fan. Wind free and turbo to get my double zeros. Okay, now previously, what to know that you were going from your first two digits to your second two digits to your third two digits, each time you press mode in between, you would go from on auto, on cool, on dry, etc. for different things you're gonna be setting. Uh, this is not gonna be displaying that um, on auto, on cool, or on dry. Instead, you see a, a row of uh, digits down at the bottom or dashes and a square. The square will move along as we go from each set of two digits, each pair of grouping. So the first grouping is again, we're gonna set this to um, display set temperature in Celsius, so my first one's gonna be D10510, so D1. So in order to change it, my first digit is gonna be changed with my fan toggling up or down. So if I go up, it's one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna keep going down, we're just gonna go the other way. So again, we want that as a one. My second, my second digit, we want that as a D. So again, if I push up after nine, it's gonna to go to alphabet all the way up to F. If I get to F, that's not what I want. I actually want D, so I can just go back toggling up or down, D1. And then I'm gonna hit mode. And watch my little square at the bottom. It pops over to the next set. So in this one, I want zero five. So all I'm gonna be doing is pushing up five. Zero five, perfect. Press it, watch my button at the bottom. There's my button, I go to my next two digits. This one I want, so again, I'm following along here, guys. Now I want one zero. So I'm gonna go one zero. And push this one up one zero and that's all i want to do that's those are the three digits i'm going to change to display celsius set point on my indoor unit 
that point, I'm gonna point this at my indoor unit. I'm just gonna keep pressing my power button repeat repeatedly. And you'll hear as I'm pressing, eventually my indoor unit will do a chime. And so there it is. There's my chime. It took a little while, but we got it. So be patient and just keep pressing that button. It did it. Now I'm displaying Celsius set point and I'm good to go with my indoor unit. Now, if I had five indoor units or four, if it was a, a multi-head unit, I could take the same remote with that power button and just go around to every one of them, pressing the power button until I hear a chime, knowing that the, the change has been updated to the board of the indoor unit and it'll start displaying my set point in Celsius. And again, you can change it back to Fahrenheit, um, set point or room temperature, whichever you want. I'm a fan of setting it to set temperature, not the room temperature, because set temperature leaves it less confusing for the homeowner. They know they just set it and forget it, and the unit will maintain that temperature in the space. So to get out of this field, I don't want to leave the remote control in here. We don't want the homeowners to get in there. I'm going to just kind of go backwards. So I'm going to go my temp up and or my temp and my fan both down and my mode at the same time. Change to an F there, but it doesn't matter. I'm not doing anything. And I hold those, and I should get back to my in initial settings. So there's my initialization. Give it a second. We know that that's uh, our initial settings was fine. We were on standard Celsius, and we're good. And now my control will work. Standard means, um, you'll see there's standard in 360 when you first turn this on. Standard is basically every uh, CAC or RAC unit, which is like your console, your, um, if you have an infrared receiver, it'd be your, your slim duct units, um, or it would be any of your wall units. The, the 360 is uh, pertaining directly to the 360 round cassette um, because that is a different unit and has uh, different controls on it. So that's why it's saying either standard or 360. So you'd all be just going standard unless you had that 360 unit. And that's it, guys. After that, you can just go in there. I can go from cool, dry. All my modes are in there and I can go along the ways. The bottom does show some other things they can do, showing the homeowner how to turn... Uh, play with the buttons, how to turn uh, auto clean on or off, filter reset, etc. It's just shown on there. You can peel that off, but I would leave that on there for the homeowners. I think that's a great point for them. And that's the end of the video, guys. Take care out there.